it's Chrissy again, and today I have for y'all a book review on A Throne of Glass by Sarah J. Moss. I love, love, loved this book. Gave it 5 out of 5 stars, easy, 5 out of 5 stars from page 1 to the very last page. Loved, loved, loved it. And I do have a spoil-free written review on my blog, and I will link that down below. But yes, A Throne of Glass. So, this is about a girl, an 18 year old girl, who's also an assassin, and she's been in a death camp for the last year, or a labor camp, death camp, for the last year, and, but then, the prince of the kingdom comes and takes her out of the camp so that she can compete in this competition his dad is throwing, basically to find the king's champion, which would basically be the king's personal assassin. And, so the prince picks her, Selena, the the seven, eight, sorry, eighteen year old girl assassin, to be in this competition. She's also a very famous assassin, very very famous. Everyone knows about her, but no one knows that she's an eighteen year old girl, and they're not supposed to find out because that doesn't look so great on the king. That the most feared assassin in his kingdom is an eighteen year old girl. Yeah. But the prince picks Selena to be his champion in the competition for his dad's champion, basically to annoy his father because he also has daddy family issues, yeah, big time, which is its own little plot line, which is awesome. And you also have the captain of the guard, which is best friends with the prince, and also a very interesting character, yes. He, he has his own daddy issues, to be perfectly honest. But they had some parental issues in this book. Pretty much all the characters do, if you really get into it. But it's an awesome, awesome book. So they go to the competition, and while she's in the competition, her competitors start being murdered. And the whole mystery around who they are, and of course it falls on Selena to figure out the mystery behind the murders for reasons that I don't want to spoil it at this point. Spoilers will come soon. Um, I love this book. I really, really did. So much. So, so much. By far, my favorite part about the book was Selena. Selena is an amazing, amazing character. She's one of my... She, she is now one of my, if not my, favorite character of all time. She is so beautifully flawed, so so perfectly flawed. Like I could list all of these things that that are wrong with her. That she she's an assassin for starters. She has a temper. She's arrogant. She's selfish at times. She's not trusting at all. She has all these flaws, but they just like make you love her more so much. I love 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 Selena. I like the other characters. The other characters are really great characters. I just love Selena so much that she could be mixed in with any characters. And I still love her. I, I still love the book. I still love the story. Love Selena. But I did love the story as well. One thing I loved about the princes, or not the princes, one thing I loved about the, the two love interests or the two guys is the different ways that they saw her. It, it's just beautiful. Like, that she's both of these things. One of them sees her one way, and the other sees her the other way, and and they just she's both. And that's what I love about Selena. But that's also what I love about the guys that they're both seeing her, but seeing her differently. That's not confusing at all. It's a great book. It's really great. The only flaw I could find in this book was that there are so many unanswered questions, like a lot. And I know that some of them are going to be important in later books, the sixth book series. They can't tell us everything in the first book. I get that. I just wish that Moss would have given a little bit more. Maybe something that's even really insignificant, just a little story or something that about someone's past. And if you can't give us anything about Selena, give us something about Dorian or Kale. Just, I wanted a little bit more backstory because she hinted at so much and now I want to read the next one. I have to read the next one. I want it bad. Okay. So that is it for the non-spoiler.
spoiler section. This is your one and only warning. I am about to get spoilery. I do not want to take any blame for spoiling this book because I have been looking forward to ranting and raving about this book. So bye. If you haven't read the book, bye. Bye. Go away. You're gone. You better be gone. So I'm about to go. Love this book. So much love this book. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. And to because I was talking about it earlier, I thought this one scene was so, so beautiful when when Kale and both Kale and Dorian walk in and see Selena sleeping. And Dorian talks about how she doesn't look like an assassin at all. She's just so sweet and so innocent and it's so beautiful and just a girl. And then Kale comes in and talks about how even sleeping underneath it, you can see all the assassin and, and, and the her line of her jaw and the muscles. And I was just like, oh, they're both right. <laughs> like, they're both right. They're both perfect. She's per I love her. I love Selena. I absolutely love Selena so much. I've been wanting to rant about that for a long time. Okay, and what else? Okay, so I did guess some of the bad guy things, but actually I kind of loved that I knew that Selena was wrong. I liked that she messed up. I liked that she wasn't trusting like the most trustworthy person in the entire book. I, I loved that about her, that she was wrong and still ended up saving the day. I loved that. I really did. And, oh, let's talk about the king. Oh, he terrifies me. Like... I understand hating him. Like, I wanted to hate him. Obviously, we're meant to hate him. But I was scared of him. I think it's because Selena is. And Selena isn't scared of anything. But she's scared of the king. And he just, it, it like, takes over her body. And we're, like, feeling it with her. And I'm, like, terrified of the king. I hate the king. I, I love that I hate the king. Because he's scary. He's evil. I hate, I hate Parrington. I hate him. He he he's just sniveling. I, I just I don't like him. I don't like him at all. Count Tain threw me off a little bit because I'm sitting here the whole time. She seems she seems almost insignificant. Like she's this weird side story. And I know that she ends up once again. If you are listening to this, you are about to really big be spoiled now. So go away if you've read the book. Okay. So I know that she's the one who ends up poisoning Selena. But it kind of seemed like what was her purpose. But my guess is we're going to find out her purpose in later books. She just was kind of neat there here. I, I started feeling bad for her. I didn't, I didn't get that Harrington was using her probably as early as I should have. At least not to the extent that he was using her. I thought that he, I, I didn't think, I think, I, I, I figured out, I figured out that he knew more, that he wasn't an idiot just falling over a pretty girl, but I didn't guess that he knew so much, that he was completely manipulating her at all. I didn't catch that. Okay, so the final, final duel comes, okay, and I'm sitting there. And, and we know that one of the goblets are poisoned. And she makes this comment about it being the one on the right. Caltain uh, does in her head. It's the one on the right. And I'm like, look to the right. So if it's Caltain's right, it's going to be Selena's uh, left. So she should pick the one on the right. Um, she's not going to drink the right one. She's going to be smart, right? No, she's not smart. She drinks the wrong one. But then I'm like, but, but she she's going to power through it. And she does, but with a lot of help. But still... I just, and you get there and you're like, okay, this is one of those things that they get into that, and I'm like, oh my god, are you seriously not going to tell us anything? And that's her parents. Did they start with the parents? I'm guessing that our family has something magical going on, which is a bad thing in this world where there's no magic. Yes. But, yeah. And I know some people, some people didn't like how it ends because... There's a big battle, and then there's like a couple of chapters of her waking up and everything wrapping up. But I really appreciated that. I re but I really enjoyed it. The, the wrap up and Selena kind of ending things with Dorian. 
And then at the very end, you're left with Selena becoming the king's champion. And you, you hate the king. You fear the king. You know the king is absolutely evil because you know things that even Selena doesn't know. And it's some of my favorite. One of my favorite parts of this book was when we were with with the king. Like when we were in the. It's all written in the third person, but you can tell certain sections are kind of in the mind of certain. Of one of the characters and not in the other, and the parts where we were in the king's mind, particularly talking to Parrington, Parrington, I'm probably saying his name wrong, I, I love those because I was like, you could feel the evil all over, and it was just, that. But the very last scene, when Selena is becoming the king's champion, and you're just sitting here like, okay, you hate the king, you totally against the king, right? How are you going to kill the people that he wants you to kill? Which, I don't, I don't know. I'm just... But, I love this book. I cannot wait to read the second one. Must read now. So, I'm going to go, because I'm going to go read the second one, because 